I love it, love it. Good I just want to show you this uh, quick video, and then I want to introduce you to some of my chaverim. It says, see that video, my seven year old son, Ushi Moses from Manchester, is a big fan and loves watching your introduction to the Shir. Thank you for everything you've done. Yossi Moses, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Oh, no, hold on. I got to make sure it starts from the right place. Here we go. Come, come, get over here. I, I got to tell you what happened. The special, we had a special, um, what's the word? The kids are the New Yorkers. They got together and they sent, how many of them? Four, five of them, all the way from New York as a package. They said, here, we want to send you a gift. And they sent four guys from New York. They were here in my Shemesh. They were here in my house for Shabbos. Get over here. Get over here. So first we have, what's your name, Tadik? Mo Mo Landy. Shalom Aleichem Mo. What's your name? Shalom Rand. Shalom Rand, get over here. Shalom Aleichem. Rienzi Radzik. Shalom Aleichem. Yaakov Yal. Yaakov Yosef Yal. He forgot his name. Yaakov Yosef Yal. This is, he's represent, this guy is a talented guy. He, made all 600 shot glasses that we gave at the Tzim by hand. <laughs> He's in charge of the merch. He came up with the cap. He came up with, he has designer ties in the works. Eh, don't ask. He has the whole shot as we were hearing about it. He bought machines. He has equipment. He has warehouses. Freg Nish. What's the website's name? MDYmerch.com. Yishkoyach, what a wonderful shot. It's a good shot. for organizing the whole trip. Shkoyach, Yishkoyach, Yishkoyach Yisrael Chayfetz and your friend. What, what's your name again? I forgot the name. What? Leo Shikuri, that's right. Okay, Shkoyach. Do we have any time for more? Uh... Alex Ziger. I'd like to thank you for the amazing shurim you give. I've not learned in six years since I left Yeshiva. And after some convincing of Levi Folger, who happens to give a shir and prepares for your shirim. Yisrael Chayfetz also gives a shir in Yeshiva to seven guys. He watches our shear here, and then he gives a shearing yeshiva. It's unbelievable. So, get over here. Get over. Come on. Get over here. Bring your friend with you, Leo. Get over here. Another two guys over here for Shabbos. Shkoyach. You do it. It's a tremendous thing. You sit, you prepare, and then you give the shear over. You ask good kashas? Yeah? Not like here, huh? Shkoyach. Thanks for coming for Shabbos. It was Gavaldik. Uh, and my uncle Chaim Goldring. Not miss the day. Where's the gold ring? A different gold ring, no? Mm-hmm. Start with Murray Cotton, still on board. Thanks a million. My day is different. I actually live in New York and attended your shir. Was too crowded afterwards to come over. This guy, Pinkus Ak- Akilov. Good afternoon, Ravelli. My picture arrived. Look at this picture. I don't know if you're able to see the screen, but just in case you could, 
Oh, you got a blow up of the pic. Everybody got a picture like this. Not everybody. Whoever wanted to. Thank you very much, Sir Goldstein, for taking an amazing picture. Unbelievable, Sir Goldstein. Thank you very much for coming to New York. Oh, Yaakov Ayal made the background. That's right. He made it. It was a nice thing. It actually saved me because I was getting crushed there for a while, and then I just started posing for pictures, so they couldn't crush me. It was Givaldic. <laughs> Revelle, I'm glad you're back. Yeshurim have a much better feel when broadcasting from Israel. Best. Abe Skorsky, West Hampton, New York. I feel much better here. I don't know. It's, it's gewaldic to be back. Biggest Shikayim, thank you for showing the Yibum clip. The Chalitza clip I sent. Love Yeshurim and highly sophisticated chart. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just made a little bit of a... <laughs> absolutely in awe of the work and the creativity you bring to the Shir. Moshe... Haber, Brooklyn, New York, Moshe Yishkoyach for the clip. The Koilo, this month is sponsored, Meschus Shiduchim for the Mr. Anonymous' Mishpacha. His nieces, I believe. Paris HaChoydesh, Leonish Mazar of Zachary Shimon HaKoyin, Wallerstein, Wallerstein, Zechir Tzadik Levrach, by his kids. As a schos, to Aaron's asking to you, the Magic Chair in the video, you're not asking to you, you're not missing a shir. Zechir Tzadik Levrach, I'm Yitzchak Ben Yomin. Aaron Frame and the schools continue. Ziad Shmaya has looked very badly. Parents of Chaydish, the Boyer family. Lili Nishma, Sir Billy Yo, Zuchorin, Levrocha, Ben, Ribavrom, Neri Yar. It's terrible when you have to say something like that. Ellie Weinberg, all of us, Shalom, dear family, friend who suddenly passed away at the age of 59. He loved MDY, he's proud to be part of this amazing Nafiyo Mishir. Parents of Chaydish, the Walkenstein family. I mean, Kemach in Toyro, I mean, Toyro in Kemach. Parents of Chaydish, by the Lakh and Lebanon families, they go to New Jersey because Toyro is the best gula. What's going on here? I see a lot of. Bez <laughs> Hashem, <laughs> when I get my jeans going, <laughs> I will be wearing this. No Shila. What a. Oh, this one. Oh, this is more like it. Would anybody wear this on Shabbos? This is more of a weekday thing. Doesn't go with the shoes. I have gold on my, on my shoes. You gotta do the gold thing. The next, next. Givaldic. These could actually could be good cufflings, I think, no? I would do it. I'd rock. Shkoyach Godel. What else you got? That's it? What do you got? Yeah, very, very, let's go. Let's, let's see what you got. The other wants to see. Anonymous. Lina Nishmas Chayo Bas Yosef. Paras HaChoydish. Anonymous Li. As a course of Toyib Tashem. As a schus for continued health and bracha. Daf Samach Aleph, in honor of Eli Stefanski, Aleph Samach, anonymously, in honor of Yishkoyach. I was thinking about it, but I didn't want to say it. Now somebody else said it, Yishkoyach. Who's this? I need to know what that is. Who is it? Anonymous. Stop with your anonymous. There is no such thing as anonymous in this year. Look at these, look at these cufflings. Yavaldik. Can you see? You can't really see. MDYMerch.com. Was it MDYMerch.com or MDYMerch.com? Okay, one of those. And then you have the pack of sticker of uh, magnets, the characters, the one in the front. Anonymous Lee Anonymous, Shuli Badner and family, Lee David Ben Ari Leib. Do we have to do that, the whole thing again? We made a half second in the middle. Fine. Raboisa, here we go. We're holding Daf Samachamad Bey's. Uh, like 10 lines from the bottom, maybe more, don't count. Omer Yaakov Baridi. So I have a few uh, riddles here. How old was Rivka Imenu when she married Yitzchak? Anybody? Three. Anybody else say something different besides Levi who probably knows it? Why? Because uh, he went to another shir. Yishkoyach Rabbi He goes, brings all the stuff. Yishkoyach. Did you go to another shir today? Say it loud, I want to hear. I'm trying, you, went, you went to another shir. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured. Okay, Shkoya, well, thank you. Um, here's another one, another riddle. Maybe we'll get, if you know the answer, don't answer. It, the answer is kind of obvious from the question. We know there's a concept called Eshesish. A woman is not allowed to stray from her husband. Is there a problem for a husband straying from his wife? Any kind of issue, is there a problem? A man is allowed to marry as many women as he wants, right? So is it proud? Uh, not the right answer. <laughs> nice. Hello, what are you doing here? So <laughs> What? No, no, no. 
Yeah. So we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. There's a Tysus, amazing Lashon and Tysus here. What? Uh, these are all, uh, but no, there's more than that. More, more. Like an Erva, like an Arias kind of thing. Not, not really, but you want to know the answer? Look in Tysus and Omid Beis, Samachal of Omid Beis, Pone Abal I thought it's amazing. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize this concept. But anyway, don't look right now. Later. All right. I keep on forgetting to tell the Oilam. It's Moshe Shabbos. We have plenty of time. It's only 10.20. We're going to 12 basically today. I wanted to tell the Oilam that this Friday, I'm very, very impressed. We have a Koilal of 11 guys. And I'm not so into the whole Koilal and this. and the, But this is a special Koilal. Why? Because we hold the guys accountable to learning and remembering. They took, this Friday, they all took a 120 daf test. After they took a 30 daf test last week, which was exactly a week ago, they took 860 daf test. 800. I don't know if any combatant can have what's going on here. 860 dafim of Gemara, to know it, from beginning of Brachas all the way to Yavamas daf Samach. And they were asking me questions on Yavamas. They so, showed me some of the questions on Yavamas. We just learned a week ago and I didn't know. And, and, and they're doing 860 daf. That, that's how hard the questions were. The, on the 30 daf test that they just took, four guys in the coil scored 100. Which I, was, I used to take these tests. I never in my life got close. I mean, got in the 90s, low 90s. I think 97 was my highest score. I forgot already. 100. Four guys got 100. Which is unbelievable. Anyway, just wanted to, I was, a lot of nachas from them. Zog the Gemara. Omar Rabbi Yaakov Bar Idi, Omar Rabbi Shua Ben Levi, Halacha Rabbi Shem Ben You have it? Like 12 lines from the bottom. Rabbi Shem Ben says that when a girl is less than three years old, where's Rabbi Shem Ben Let's see if we have him. The kids are less than three years old. Uh, a giyaris that's less than three years old is kosher. Omar le Reb Zeri le Reb Yaakov bar Idi befer shmiyalach and miklol shmiyalach. Did you hear this halacha that a giyaris again, her parents became gerim. She's less than three years old. She's muter lekuhuna. Omar le Reb Zeri le Reb Yaakov. You heard this or you you figured it out yourself? You heard that that's what Reb Shimon Bar said. But that the Allah is like him, that Rebbe, uh, Omar Rabbi Yagam Ha'idi, Omar Rabbi Yeshua Ben Levi, Allah Rabbi Shem Ben How do you know this? The Omar Rabbi Yeshua Ben Levi, what's my klala? How would you figure this out yourself, like figure it out? Irach has hoisab Eretz Yisrael, shakar ala There was a city in Eretz Yisrael that there was a problem, there were, there were rumors about it. Veshigir Rebbe, as Rabbi Romano Subatka. So Rebbe, Rabbi Yudha Nasi, sent somebody there, Rabbi Romanus to check out why the rumors, bad rumors. That's what we're dealing with right now. He found a girl that was less than three years old who's a giyaris married. And he said, it's okay. Let the marriage stay. So no, it's not from this story. I heard that Allah is straight out that Allah is like Rabbi Shimba Yechai. You, a, a girl that's less than three years old is muta lakuna. Says Gemara be Okay, let's say you heard him. Before. Why did what did he care if he heard him a furish, or he heard a story and based on the story he passed the halacha? Domshani also amayav insiv insiv. Over there in that city where Rabbi Rumanus came, they were already married. Already married, let it go. Why? The Rav Rabbi Yochanan Ami Tavayu. We saw a similar svara. But Geres. A girl, you know what, I have the chart from all the way at the end here. Just show it to you real quickly. Not that the uh, Dailam knows, but whatever. From 0 to 12, a girl is a Ketana. From 12 to 12 and a half, she's a Naira. And from 12 and a half to the rest of her life, she's a Begaris. So a Begaris. A Begaris says the Gemara, Umukas eight, lo yisa. A koyin, gadol, shana, marry, a begeris. Someone that's over 12 and a half. Umukas eight. And somebody lost her psulim from eight. From any kind of object. Vim nasa, nasui. And if he went and he's over and he married her, it's a good marriage. So, two by us, this giyayres, he shouldn't marry her. 
But if you did marry her, you could remain married. Says the Gemara, there's a big difference between a Giyaris and a Begeris. What's the difference? When the Kohen Gadol marries her, when she's between 12 and 12 and a half, so eventually, hopefully, she makes it to be 12 and a half, 13, 14. And obviously, a Kohen Gadol doesn't have to divorce his wife who's not a Psula. He got married better. She's going to be, she's going to lose a psulim, so she's no worse than a mukaseit. Eventually, so you let her stay married. But hacha, if a giyaris is a zayna, so then what good is it that he married her by mistake, or he shouldn't have married her, and you're going to let her stay married? It doesn't, it doesn't help. But Gaius knew he shouldn't have married, it's the wrong age, there's nothing... Eventually, he's going to be married to her in that state, anyways, as a begayer. So it's okay. But if we consider a begayer as a zaina, so just because he married her, why should I let her stay married? Rav Safra Safra said, "No, I didn't hear it mafurish. I saw the story and I passed him." Vikashile, and he asked the question, what, "What's the svar? Why should I allow, allow her to be married?" And he answers like we answer. There's a Maisa. The Koyhenes. The Koyen married a Giyaris less than three years old. Why are you doing this? I'm allowed to. Go divorce her. And if not, I'm going to take your Yaakov Baridi out of your ear. Sometimes Rashi says it means from your Koyach. Sometimes he says, from your ear, I like the ear one, it sounds a lot better. If you don't divorce her, I'll take that Allah that you think you heard from Yaakov Ba'idi, I'll force it out of your ear. That's not how we, that's not how we do it. So somehow it flows into this next sugya. Top of So we know what it is, but why not? There's no pictures today. If you have a tent, a ceiling, a roof, and you have a corpse, a dead person underneath. So everything underneath that roof, from side to side, is tame. That's one of the oils. So a guy doesn't create tumma, says Rav Shemayachai, above oil. So if you're flying in a plane above a non-Jewish cemetery, you have no problem, you're kain. The problem is more on a Jewish cemetery. Shinamar va'aten tsoini. Soy Marisi, Adam Atem. Your Adam Atem Kruim Adam, Ve'ein Ha'evde Kechavim Kruim Adam. A non Jew is not called the Adam. There's a very famous story with Mendel Bayless. You know this, Maisa? Oh, I forgot to say Shalom Aleichem to you in public. Again, what's your name? Chaim Reis. Chaim Reis, Shalom Aleichem, Reis, from Boca. From Boca, who just made a Leah Oh, that, I, that part I didn't get. Yeah, Leah Terzor, so where do you live? I live in Azabira, Nishalai. Ah, very nice. What building? 40. Oh, Mool. Oh, very nice. Come more often. Shkaya. So. My brother was coming here for a week. Come together. Givaldic. Looking forward. Welcome. Dan Eden Chap. So, New York, Boca, so no more Boca. You have the house there? Yeah. Ah, okay, good. It's okay. So the famous Maisa in Tofresh Ayin, I don't know what it is in English, I forgot to look it up, the, the exact English date, the famous story where they found a dead kid in, in a field next to Kiev, and they said it's Mendel Bayless that did it. The blood libel, they said they needed, the Jews needed it for Pesach, it's a whole story, they said, what do you mean Jews... It's also for us to kill Goyim. It's also for us uh, to, to, to eat blood. We're not allowed to drink blood. No, you did it. Why? So one of the tainas that Reb Meir Shapiro anticipated was this Gemara right here in Yuvam is Nafsam that they're going to say that we don't consider them Adam. So since they're not Adam, we could kill them. So he told the defending lawyer, he says, if they ask you this question, this is what you have to say. V'kachava. In the prosecution, they, the prosecutor brought up this Gemara, different Gemara, so he went through a lot of stuff. And uh, interestingly, he said, 
a Gemara in the Yivam, Sam Chalaf says that we're not Adam. So he said, the Pshat and Adam, let me explain to you what Pshat and Adam is. If something happens to Mendel Bayless, he's prosecuted, the entire world, every Jew in the world, even Jews in America, Jews in Israel, they're all diving for this guy. We're one, we're Adam, we're single. If a guy, a Russian guy, he has a problem in America, he's in jail, nobody gives a hoot, nobody's going to care about him. That's why we're Adam, you're not. He said, I saw somewhere else written that, we, I, I think the Lushan, we have Gever, Ish, and what's the third or the fourth one? Because we have Adam, Gever, Ish, Enoish. So for Enoish, we have Anoshim, we have Ishim, and Gvarim, plural. But there's no plural for, for Adam. Adam doesn't have Adadim. It, does, it doesn't work. Why? Because we are one. We're considered one. We care about each other. We, the chesed that we do and the, the caring that we do. But a guy is called the Ish. There's an Ashim. They're people. They're, but they're individuals. They're in different places. Zog the Gemara. Meisvei. V'nefesh Adam Shisha Asar Elef. Says, over there by Midian, I think it was. There's... They captured 16,000 Adam. So they are Goyim Ar Adam. Says the If you look at the Pasuk, here, Bachamoyrim Shleishim Elef and Pasuk, Memhei, Lemashal, all the Pasukim before, it talks about how much the Jews captured. So it talks about Chamoyrim, 30,500, and then humans, Shisha Salaf. So what are they going to say? You're talking about Chamoyrim, then what is it going to say? Not Adam. So it says, not that they are considered Adam, but if you talk, you have a list of things, one of them is animals and one of them is Adam. Asher ba yesh ba har This is the famous pasuk in Yoyna. More, a lot more than 12,000 riboy. Riboy is 10,000 times 12,000. Adam asher lo yada ben yimino l'smoilaj. So many people there, they don't know between, to differentiate between the right and the left. Behem rabo. Well, it's shy if they stick it in here. So yes, the, the people in Nineveh are called Adam because the Pasuk continues, Behema Rabba. They have a lot of cattle, animals. Kol hoireg nefesh v'chol negev v'chol tizchato. In Midian, whoever touched a body, he has to, he has to use uh, the mechatos, tizchato. You have to become tar. So you see that a guy is mitama. Says Gemara, Dilma Iktil Chad Yisrael. Maybe there's a dead Jew, and you, a soldier going to war, touch the Jew. Rabbanon, that can't be. Leinifkad Mimenu Ish. It says that not a single Jew died in the war. Rishim Baichai. What does he do? Leinifkad Mimenu Ish Laavera. The whole point of the Midyan, what do they do? They try to send the women to entice the men. So they were all. They were Oymi Bifnei Nesayan. You should know Leinifkad Mimenu Ish. Not a single one was over on Znos. It comes Ravin and says, a uh, big chap. The whole thing that we're talking about is oil. This is a big Tumah that you're not touching the dead person. The Tumah has the power and only a human being has this power. A Sheretz that dies in a room doesn't make the, everything in the room Tumah. You have to touch the Sheretz. Okay, so a human being that happens to be Jewish has this Tumah that goes, spreads in the entire room. A guy doesn't have that Tumah, but a guy has regular Tumah. It's no worse than a dead Sheret. If you touch, so if you touch a caver of a guy according to this, this is a big Nida in the Rishonim, how we paskin exactly different rayas that maybe you could go through a basic forest of a guy, maybe there isn't Tumah. No, this definitely is. But it's not, 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 not on a high level of, some, some Rishonim say, it's not on the highest level of Mago Mas of touching a dead person, but it's on the level of touching a, a Sheretz. It's not, it's not a Vaisa Tuma, it's, it's Ava Tuma. <coughs> Says the Elegant Mishnah, the official Mishnah, sponsored anonymously for schuz for my wife and children. Thank you. I think he's talking to me. Ah, oh, you just ruined that. Yeah, I know it's his wife. He gets engaged. He finally gets engaged to a widow. And then, Shalom Yisrael, they go and they make him the Kohen Gadol. Now, I thought when I was reading this, this is going to be like the rest of Yavamas. These are stories that didn't really happen. It could happen, theoretically. What do you do? 
says the Mishnah Maisa be Yeshua ben Gamla. There was a story. Yeshua ben Gamla was a very chosh of a person. Shekid is a smart of Baitus. Famous woman in Yerushalayim, very, very wealthy. She was so wealthy, the Gemara tells us that big istanis, you know, like very mefunic, very used to slaves and everything. And there was a famine. She sent her servant to go get food. He came back. He says, the, the bread is gone. So get the next thing in line. So he goes to the next thing. Comes back. He's a big shite to this slave. Uh, it's gone. So get the next thing. He kept four or five times. Every time he went back, the next time. So she decided to go by herself to see what she could find. She was starving. She went. She either stepped in a piece of cow dung, and she got so nimble she died on the spot, or she ate the chewed out date of Reb Tzaddik, and that disgusted her and she died. Kids are this Martabat's Baitos, very wealthy. She marries Yeshua ben Gamla. She gets engaged to Yeshua ben Gamla. Um, we know Hamelech is Gadol. All of a sudden, somehow, we don't, we don't know yet how that happened. Suddenly, the billionaires. Chasim becomes the Kohen Gadol. Imagine, uh, why? Uknasa. So even though she was an Almana, he's not a bad guy. He's a good guy. He's the one that made all the, the schools. And he did a whole thing in school. He's a, he's a good person. So he married her. It's he let him marry her. So you see, like, like the Mishnah, that if you get engaged to an Almana, and then in between of your engagement, the Eros and the Kiddushin, and the Nisuin, you became a Kohen Gadol, you can continue being married to her. Marry her. Do the Nisuin. Now, what if a Kohen dies and he didn't have any children? He leaves his widow to his brother, the Kohen. And then the, the Yavam in the wings, he becomes a Kohen Gadol. He's, he's, uh, they they asked him to be a Kohen Gadol. Even though he performed Kiddushin. And what's Maimer? Only the Rabbanon. Had it been a Doiraisa, that's the first beginning of the Mishnah. If he did real Kiddushin, he gave her a ring, Ariadne Kiddushin, so he could continue being married. But since it was only the Rabbanon, and she's just Zikuka, she has Zika, and he performed the Kiddushin, the Rabbanon, it's not strong enough to be over the Isser of. And Almana to Kohen Gadol. Says the Gemara Tanah Rabbanu Menayin Shem Eiris is Almana Ben Ismanali is Kohen Gadol Shiichnois. How do we know this? Allah the Mishnah said that he can get married to her. Tamaloi Ma Yikach Isha. There are times that he can marry, even though she's an Almana. See if we have the pasuk here. Yeah, Almana Gurusha. He should not marry an Almana. And then says all the way at the end, Kim Sulma Yikach Isha. It could have said Kim Sulma Amov Yikach. Isha is certainly an extra word. So sometimes, says the, the Gemara, that uh, Isha, even though she's an Almana, you could marry her. So maybe you should learn from the Pasuk Isha that this woman that we said he cannot continue being Miyavimer, she's Mototem. Says the Gemara, Isha v'la Yivama. That's Yivama, that's something else. Says the Gemara, Maisim Yeshua. What was the story of Yeshua? Mino, they, the king appointed him. Mino in, this man alive. He wasn't appointed by the other Kohanim. Like, you can see the Lushan of the Mishnah itself. It says, by Marta Baspaisus, the next word is, Umino Hamelech Leis Gadol. And then right, right after it says, Shemer Siyavam, Vinismana Leis Gadol. Nismana means that the Kohanim, they went and they, they said, you're good enough for us. Now, just as a side point, Taisvis, when we learned it in Yuma, Taisvis says, he was a great guy. But not the greatest guy, not the greatest person. If they had to choose a Kohen Gadol, they wouldn't choose him. He's 10th in line. He's the 10th Gadol. You know, he's a, a minor Gadol, not Galadar. So that's why it was wrong to make him the Kohen Gadol. Or Rabbi Yosef, Ketirka Hacha. I saw a conspiracy. The Rabbi Harkiva the Dinri, Harkiva is Tre Kav. Tre and a Kav. So a total of three Kav. Of gold, dinarim, Aile Marta Basvaisis, Liani Malta. She paid off a bribe that her chasen should become the Khangadal, and we saw that in Yuma, there's like 300 of them over a course of 400 and something years, 20 years. There's 300 guys, uh, people that became Kohanim Dailam, and they died every single year. She paid until her chasen 
Yeshua ben Gamal became the Kohen Gadol. Says the official Mishnah, sponsored anonymously for his wife's chos and children. Kohen Gadol shemeis achiv. If a Kohen Gadol's brother dies, choylet v'loi miyavim. Pretty much we learned that halacha. But the chiddush here, that think about the chalitza, not that we saw it on the video, we should really see that the spitting part is gishmak. I'm sure everybody wants to see that. How can you spit out a Kohen Gadol? He's the Kohen Gadol. He's the Gol Adar. So she's going to sit there and spit at him. The Salma, the, the lady's going to go spit. Yeah, that's what we have to do. We have to do. That's the chiddush. Chayes will let me out. Says the Gemara, "Kapasik v'tani loishnem in eres v'loishnem in sun." It doesn't matter if this woman who felt him liyibum is engaged. She's an almana because she's engaged, or almana because they're married. Bishno v'mena sun. So look at this pasuk over here. If you can see it on the screen, I did it in red. Almana loyikach. Okay, you skip everything else. It says, "Do not take a kohen gadol cannot marry an almana." And then it says, "Psula yikach." So what's psula yikach? It's a asay, a positive, and almana loyikach is a negative. It's a loyisase. So he's standing here and he has a choice. Should I do yibum, which is what an asay? Or not do yibum. If I do yibum, what's going to happen? I'm going to be over on two things. I'm going to be over on almana, and I'll be over on psula. So it's two against one. The iser wins. There's an assay to marry psula and a say not to marry an almana. The one mitzvah of performing yibum. Cannot beat out another essay, which is equal to plus a license. Erosin. But if she was only engaged and she lost her husband, Yove essay, the mitzvah of being miyab, Vietcha, Slois essay. Essa doicha license. That we had also give. The essay, the positive mitzvah of being miyab, should push off the Lois essay of being married to Almana because she is a psula. Why is she a psula? Because she's only engaged. She never got married. Says Gemara, amazing thing here. When a person lives in sin with an almana, a kain marries an almana, he shouldn't be married to the almana. So every bia he has with her is over an iser. So gzera bi rishayna to be yishnia. The first bia is gevaldik, is a mitzvah. But the second one, he's not. He's done with yibum. The mitzvah of yibum is mekayim the first time only. Finished. He doesn't have to have a child. That's not the mitzvah. The mitzvah is the first bia. After that, it's all Averis. And we're worried that he's not going to divorce her. Says the official Mishnah, sponsored honestly, first chutz for my wife and children. Koyen had to say, Islandess. A simple Koyen should not marry an Islandess. Elohim ke yishle, isho banim. Since an Islandess. What's an Islandess? Rabbi, you remember why it's called an Islandess? Oh, there we go. If you look closely, there's MDY in the Tichal. There's no aisle magnet. That's the. Uh... <laughs> How do you know you went through the magnets? Oh yeah, I gave you a pack. I gave. You did for what? <laughs> it's unbelievable. The kids, they look at look, look at this. The kids are saying good morning, our boys. I, the adults are playing with magnets on Shabbos with the children. It's unbelievable what's going on. You don't have to learn Torah. It's a room in a room. It's a. It's a new uh, pop culture. It's unbelievable. Trading cards. Oh, trading cards. Here we go. Yaakov Yosef. No, I'm fixed. Avi Kamiansky. Get over this kid, that kid. You know. No, I am. No, I am. There you go. Okay. Even if a person has children and a wife, Luis Island is Amur We're going to see the six sheetas in the Gemara, five or six. And one of them is that an islandess marrying this thing on the screen is she's considered a Zaina. That's it. A Zaina, whatever it means, we're going to see what it means. We think we know what it means, but it's not literally like what we think. But Chamayrim ain't Zaina here. Another sheeta. What is a zaina? Giyores, Mishukhreres, Vishinivala Bilaznos. If a woman had relations with a mamzer, then she turns into a zaina. 
It doesn't mean stam a woman that's hefker. We're going to see a sheet in It means a woman that's hefker. Amalei Rish Lak Rish Galus Ravuna says the Rish Galus to Ravuna. My time. What's the reason in the Mishnah that you shouldn't marry a kohen hedi and shouldn't marry an islandess? What was it? Mishum Piri Viribio. Well, he has to have children. He marries an islandess. She has all these simanim. Her voice is different. Everything is different. So she can't have children. You're not going to be improve. Says the Gemara, yes. Says the Rish Galus, right? The Rish Galus was the head of the very wealthy man, lived in a mansion, Tam Chachem, had servants, the whole thing. Rish Galus, the head of the Galus. So why is this halacha only about a kayan? It should be halacha about every yid, should not marry an islandist. You're right. But in the seifa, it talks about a kayan. She's only not more about Torah. So Rabbi Huda says the problem is that an island is, is considered a zaina. That's what the Torah means when it talks about a zaina. A zaina koyana with a mifkidi, Yisrael loy mafkidi. The only a koyin has the iser to marry a zaina, not a Yisrael. Shemachik ketani koyin. Oh Rabbi Huda, my time with Rabbi Huda. What's the reasoning of Rabbi Huda? The chsiv achluv lo yizbo, a curse. Gonna eat and they're not gonna be satisfied, satiated. His new, they're gonna be mizana. What does Freitzu mean? They're not gonna have children. So you see from here that Freitzu, when you don't have children, that's znos. Kol bia she'emba pirza, any bia that doesn't lead to children, ain't ela bilas znos. So you probably think to yourself, wait, wait. So you what? So. So somebody's married to a 16-year-old, 7-year-old, can't have children. So says Taisus. So first of all, Taisus is talking about a ketano. Don't worry about right now. Right now, you're right. It's not a BS news. Why? Because eventually. So in other words, So even in Akara, believe it or not, or we can't have kids, or even a skena, she's a woman that could, she's in the parasha, not today. Last year, but she's she's a woman. The islands is not. The islands is out of the power. That's what that's what's going on here. So Mela, there's no nobody has to worry about this this halacha. It's not a kol biosh einbo pirza, meaning you can't have children. not true. In the islands, that's the case. Tanya Rebbe Lezer Oimer Koyin Lo Yisus Aktano. Rebbe Lezer says a koyin should not marry Aktano. Avalei Rav Chizda Rabba Poik Ayimbo. Do this. Go learn up the sugi really well. The leurta boila ravuna minach, because you need to be prepared for ravuna. Rabbi Zibberstein has a shaila. It's not hundred percent this, but he says there's once a rosh hashiva that was about. He tells his friend the Shiva, He says, what, "Why are you here? I'm going to collect money from you know the big gvir in town." He says, "Listen, I was there today. The gvir happened to be learning yivam and stuff. You know, whatever samach beis." He tells him, "Whatever the da." And he's, he likes to talk and learning. Go prepare Samach Beis. So he goes home, he, p- he sits down, he knows Samach Beis inside out. He goes the next day to the Gevir. And the Gevir is very impressed. He knows about Peh. And he's he throwing Rishon and Machorim. So he gives him a big fat check. He's Tamut Chacham. Doesn't know that he just learned it today, in the morning. Is that stealing or not? Is that Gnevis Das? There's a whole shail about it. So he says at the end it's fine, uh, I think, whatever. But it's for Tyra, for Tyra, everything for Tyra. Gnevis Das for Tyra is Givaldi. Okay. Poik ayin ba del urte boila ravuna minach. Oh, taka. Hold on, let me just finish this line once we're here. So he does say, don't tell Ravuna I told you this, but he's, he's going to ask you, obviously. Be prepared. Sponsored by Moshi Horn in honor of the gold star Mati Donut. Sponsored in honor of the Schos. From Mesh Yaakov and Shoshan and both Ruchnis and Gashmi, says the Gemara. So, Novak Aimbo, he went and he looked into this. And he says, Rav Chizah told Rabba. So, Rabba came up with this amazing theory. What's the Pshan Rebbe Yazar? That you cannot marry a Ketanos. And the Gemara is going to go, this is the Gemara now. Why can't a Kayan marry a girl? That's less than three years old. Because he has a combination cheetah. He holds a little bit of Rameir. 
Less than 12. You're right. I think you are right. Shkoyach for coming. Oh, you know what else I have to say? I, I, didn't, I didn't get here. I was saying, I, I hope it was a slip of the tongue. I said the other day, and I got at least three emails from people. I said that a kind God will go to sister's Levaya. It's talking about a regular kind. I think most of the time I was saying kind, kind, kind. I said one time kind Godel. So you got to erase that. It's not this week's parish. Anybody that listened to the parish today knows Mefurish. It's the beginning of the parish. It's all for, yeah, you should erase it. Go be, it's too late now. Huh? You can't. You mentioned that. You just make sure people are that. Yeah, right. A lot of people, listen, if you get three emails about something, that means 500 people noticed it. Well, I know you're one of them. And you're a Kayan, but you're the last email. It actually, the Badr was texting during the share, but of course his nephew wasn't here. So, yeah, from now on he promises to be here. Could have fixed it on the spot. Zagdi Yamara. But he fixed me now. What did I say? I said, Ketana, I said, three, uh, three years old. He's saying 12 years old. Less than three. Here, let's go to the chart here. We need a chart for this. Here, zero to 12, Ketana. Can't marry the blue. Why? So like your mayor, the Chayshin Yuta, all over Shas, we always have this. Your mayor is always concerned about the, the slightest possibility. So, V'savah like your Yuta, so like your mayor, the Chayshin Yuta, V'savah like your Yuta, my island is Zoyna Avya. Rabbi Yuta, we just said, oh, that an island is Zoyna. And there's a slight 0.0006% that she's an islandess. So for that fraction of a percentage, maybe she's an islandess. And if she's an islandess, he married a Zoyna. And he won't know. How do you know that she's an uh, islandist until she gets older? But now the Gemara says, listen, first of all, he doesn't hold like your mayor. He doesn't hold like your beauty. You're, you're wrong. We're talking about Rebbe Liezer. Again, Rebbe Liezer, Rabbi comes up with a theory. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Like that. Learning, you're learning the tricks. He just sent me a private message nobody saw. Only I could see the screen over there. No, I, I did something, I came out of the program. Um, R- Rabba has to know, because Ravuna is going to ask him questions, what's the pshat in Rebbe Liezer? His theory was that Rebbe Liezer holds like Remei Rebbe Yudah. He's saying, no, I'll show you, I'll prove to you Rebbe Liezer doesn't hold like Rebbe Yudah Remei. Or what? V'tanyo, katanu katanu lo yichotzum lemiyabim. Divrei Rebbe Meir. Rebbe Meir, first of all, holds that a katan and katana should not do chalitza, not do yivu. Ovalei Rebbe Meir. Yov amar de shen chaltim. Great. Ish ksiv a parish from akshin yishrile ish. You have to be an adult. Elamai tamim yavim. What's the big deal? Ovalei, like we just said a second ago, katan shem yimati saris. Katan shem yimati islandis. I'm concerned about the, the fraction of percent of kids that turn into islandis and, and sarisim. Vinitsu poikim be'ervam. That we learned in the beginning of the Masechta, or I don't know where, somewhere in the Masechta. Everything's the beginning. From Daf Sam uh, Nun Vav on the base, till here is the beginning of the Masechta. Because that's what I remember, basically. Three Daf back. So, we learned that an islandess, you don't do Yibam to an islandess. And if you do Yibam to an what happens? She's a regular Eish Sach. She's an Issa Der Eisa. If you can't do Yibam to somebody, then it goes back to the regular Issa of a sister-in-law. So, since we don't know if she's an island, if she turns into an island, she's going to be the sister, and it's going to be Yisra Der Eis. So, right here you see, Rebbe Liezer argues on Rebbe You can't tell me that Rebbe Liezer holds like Rebbe Here's a Mephur Shemachalik between Rebbe Liezer and Rebbe Meir. Rebbe Liezer says, you do Yibum, Toktana, and you do Chalitza, and you're not concerned that maybe one day we'll find out she's an islandess and you're over an Asian South. And another thing, Let's continue. <clears throat> he also doesn't hold like Rabbi Yehuda. But now we have the six way machloikas, five, six. We'll count them as we go along. How many? Six. You remember all the mappe? You have to memorize it for the test. In this, should I'll ask you, what are all six? What, what are the definitions? Sometimes, sometimes when you nice, they'll say, give us five out of the six. What does it mean? Zoyna says Rashi Toya. She strayed. Meaning, she was the Ashes Ish. Who strayed? Divrei Rebeliezer. This is a big problem. 
Rebbe Liezer holds that a zayna, the definition of zayna, is a ishes ish, not a nihiliness or something else. Rebbe Kiva Oimer, so this is it. This is what we need for the question. Remember this sheet that Rebbe Liezer holds. Eishel Sish, who strayed. Now we're going to see the rest of the Shittas. Rebbe Kiba Oimer, Zayna Zu Mufkeres. A woman who could be with anybody. Mufker. That's pretty much what they call today. Zayna. Rebbe Masi Ben Kharosh Oimer, Afi Lo Alech Ba'la Lashko Yisru Ba'la Ba'derech. This is unbelievable. Your own husband, you could be Mizana with your own husband. If he warned her not to be Misiached with another man, and she didn't listen to him. So he says, we got to take a trip to the Beis Amigdash. You got to drink this water. It might explode. And on the way, that relations, it's his own wife, Zaina. She shouldn't have been with him. It's this is the Raisa. Here we go. So obviously, Rebbe Liezer, the first Shita, and this Shita are in conflict. Zaina zu Islandis. He says, no, the definition is an Islandis. Three. Every giyoris, zayna. Every slave that's freed, zayna. Why? Think about it. Because when they were goyim and avadim, they had relations with goyim. So that makes them a zayna. And the Jewish woman who's, let's say, married to a nasin, a mamzer, she's a zayna. Rebbe Zoymer, Panoi, okay, what does it say here? Beis, Tzach Loimar, a lazar. Rebbe Lazar Oimer, Panoi Habal, Panoi two singles, Shiloi L'Shem Ishus, they didn't have a mind to get married, Asa Zaina. And this is where I told you to look in Taisus. It says Taisus, look at this Taisus. I thought it's incredible, Asha. Panoi Habal, Panoi. Lavdafke Noke Panoi. Obviously, the guy doesn't have to be single. He could be married, and he has a relationship with a single woman. The Kolchke Nasui, Says Taisvis, when he uses a lashon, I couldn't believe it. The man who's allowed to be married halakhili to, to 18 women, let's say, whatever the number is, if he doesn't tell his wife about his relationship, he's mizana alishtoy. He's, mizan, he's, he's straying from his wife. It's some sort of problem. I'm not saying it's the raisa. I don't know what it is. It's mizana alishtoy. Even, even to get another wife, you have to have, ask Rishus from, the, from your, wife, your current wife. It's all, but okay. I don't know. We have to look into this. What it means exactly. What are you saying? That's one sheet though. One out of the six. Yeah. No, not her. It doesn't make her anything. No, it makes him. Girl, but Taisis uses a lotion of, are you saying it's a lotion of strength? Of, of what's it supposed to say? Yeah. No, but why does this say? It's a Nasui that's with a Pnuya and she's Chosh of a Zaina. Why does it say that she, he's Mizana Alishtoy? A Nasui ha Ba al Pnuya, she's a Zaina. Taisis kind of curses him out, kind of. Mizana Alishtoy. I don't know, that's, that's how I read it. I don't know. Anybody read it differently than me? What? How do you read it? Yeah. Yeah. Not faithful to the wife. Not faithful to the wife. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's something to it. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Not told his wife if he got permission from his wife. Telling the wife, is, what did she say after you told her? <laughs> huh. I hear. Gotta look into that one. You sure about that? Okay. Um, yeah? Saita doesn't drink the water? That's what we say. No. That's if he's ever is it with her. With her. Now with somebody else. Are you sh- with somebody else? Somebody else. With his, if he was with his wife, it doesn't work. It says, uh, and, he, and he's a naki. With the, what's the lotion that he's naki? He has to be naki. But now if maybe uh, it, first of all, time out. Even if you're right, it means that he's over iser of eshes with somebody else, not with a pnuya. There's a pnuya. Fine. Says the Gemara. 
Omar Ova. No, where am I? Hello. So what's the problem? Hello. So if he doesn't hold, he's trying to come up with a theory. Why does Rebbe Yezer say that a, a coin should not marry a ktana? Says the Gemara. The problem is that we're talking about a coin godol marrying a ktana. That's what Rebbe Yezer said he shouldn't marry. And think about it. When exactly did the Kenyan happen? It only takes effect when she becomes a Gdoyla. By that time, Bulahi. That's what I'm telling you to do. Omerava, you're making no sense. Mechalilev, you're destroying the, my heart, you're destroying my mind, whatever it means. It's a strong lotion of, it doesn't make sense what you're saying. Because either Kacha Avua, who made the Kiddush into this Ktana? The father. So it's the Raisa. Maishata Ugdukanila. You don't have to wait until she becomes older. The Kiddushin is Toivus immediately. Be the Kachan Afsha. And if she, didn't, she doesn't have a father, Horeb Eliezer, he. Blur Abonon? What? So this halach is only according to Rebbe Eliezer. It goes according to everybody that she's a Bu'ula. Elo Marava, another reason why the Kayin should not marry Ektana. Loyal of Kayin had it. We're not talking about a Kayin God. We're talking about a regular Kayin shouldn't marry Ektana. Why? The Chashin on Shevet is Pata Olav. Since she's a Ktana, so Daitan Kala is for sure, and he's a Kayin, so we're worried that somebody's going to be Mephat to her. And she's going to be Osir to him. Yehok Yisrael Nami. So <laughs> no one should marry a Ktana because the Ktana is going to go be Mizan with another man because she's, she's young. So the Gemara Ketui, if on the far-fetched Chashash that it happens, Ketui Ktana Oynesu. That's only considered an anusa, because she's a ktana, she doesn't have that. So it's as if somebody violated her, even if she's masculine. He doesn't have to divorce her. If that happened, some, some guy came and convinced her, he doesn't have to divorce her. But a kain does. No, it's going according, it's, we're talking about a kain gadol, shouldn't marry a ktana. Because it goes according to the ktana that says, the word psula means, uh, when we were learning the sugi, people were asking me, they wrote me, so, so what could a Kohen Gadol marry? Who could he marry? So the word Psula, I would start off saying, like in this chart, means Ktana. Yeah, Remy, you got the chart? The, the Choshev chart. It says Ktana Naira Begir. It's not a big... But why not? It's colorful. Yeah. So I would think that a Kohen Gadol could only marry from 0 to 12. Tama Loyma Isha. No, she's an adult. Isha Yochel Begir. Maybe from 12 and a half... The red, the no good, is, is what he can marry. So which one is it? You have a, a whole bunch of words that mean different things. Okay, So he needs, this is unbelievable. Your metzamtim, you go from his shidduch database is only girls that are 12 to 12 and a half. Zehuza. The bells are told me that in bells they have a program, computer program. You put in your parameters. I want to live in Israel. I, I want a, a girl from a coil family. I want this, that, 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 and then it narrows down. His brother put in all the parameters. Zero. <laughs> so you know what it means? I'm not joking. He waits until next year. Can't get married when he's 18? No, 19. I was like, eight. Hey, that's how it goes in because the, they don't marry out. Only within bells. So put it in. He was being very uh, demanding. Unless you go back, he starts saying, okay, I'll take divorcees, I'll take Gyaruses, a bells of Gyaris within. I don't know how it works. Okay, fine. Not just like that. So over here also, listen to this. the computer goes, eh, only the 12 to 12. No, she, she just turned, you have to date her quickly because she's turning 12 and a half tomorrow. Fine. <laughs> what happened? You like it? It's not artificial, it's very <laughs> rudimentary. <laughs> it was artificial intelligence, you would find the shidduch. It's like it's very blah. Okay. Uh, you probably put in the like. They give $2.3 million, Nadin. So you're like, you have to come off that also. I'm serious. No, there's a, there's a money thing there also, I think. I, I want to see. I'm going to ask him to, to hook me up. I want to see if I, what kind of shit I can find over there. 
The word psula in psula el anaro. It's only this age. So in Mela, that's why he holds he should not marry Ktana. Ha? Again, the law is he says a coin should not marry Ktana. Why? Coin Gadol. Because it says in the word it says the word psula, and psula means she must be the green, narrow, but not the blue Ktana. Ren Oimer, the Hanaro. Toivas Marim Oid Psula. Who is this referring to? Rabbi Oisai. Oh. Rivka. Yeah, also I say. Yeah, it's so close. Rivka. And it says that she's a Nara. And when she got married, she was 12 years old. So you see, the Nara is 12. I, we know from Cheder, from Gan, that she was 3 years old. So it's Toisvis. It's good Kasha. It's different Cheetahs. There's a shita, but we only know that one shita, not the one brought in the Gemara. The, 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 our, what is it called? How do you say Ganenet in English? Ganenet? It's in English? Fine. The morale. Rebbe Lazo, Emer, Pane Abba, Apnu Yosh, Shem, Ishu, Sasos. Anybody here from Farakway? You? Yeah. I went to tag. I tell everybody I went to tag. I'm like, well, it's a girl's school. I went to tag. My Ganenet, that's where my guy was in tag. They used to have boys there too. Okay, whatever. Really? Not in the gun? No, no. Ask her if there used to be a gun there. Two singles, she becomes a zaino. We don't pass him like that. Doesn't make her a zaino. Says the Mishnah. Yeah, we have time? We're like 57 minutes. What time do we start? Oh, so you want to make it under 57. I got it. Okay, fine. So let's go. Says the official Mishnah, we're not, we're no sponsor. So a person cannot stop having children until he has sons. He must have two sons. We're going to see in the Gemara that there's other sheep that's in what Bishama really said. We still say you need a boy and a girl. created Adam and Chava. So too you, you have to be mekayim it like that. Hoyesh lebanim, mepir v'riv bottle, mishalei bottle. If you want to make a deal, that's it. Look, you could stop having children, but you must be married. Misayle lerav Nachman Amar Shmuel in the name of Shmuel. The Amar Avah b'shish ladom kama banim. Even you have a bunch of children, asur lamoid b'loyisha. You must be married at all times. Shenemar leitoy v'yoyisa adam levadoy. They say it's because of irurim saves the person. The other sheet says, no, once you have children, you don't have to be married. Is that a contradiction? Because he says, you have to be married. If he doesn't have children, so you must marry a woman who can conceive and have children. But once he has children, he must get married. Everybody has to be married. But nice you should love as bonim. You can also marry a woman and a kara, a skeno, whatever you want. Nafkimina, limker save a tire bishul bonim. Unbelievable. If a person has a save a tire today, I was looking into the prices, prices jumped like crazy because of Miron. Everybody's writing save a tire. You can't get a save a tire today. And if you want to get one, $100,000 is not even a, a high price anymore for save a tire. Not joking. For a decent save a tire, 80 to 100, no problem. So, if you have a hundred thousand dollars save a Torah, and you go into the Belzer program and it says, I want a hundred thousand dollars, and she says, I'll do it for free because I'm 90 years old. So if you have children, you can marry the 90 year But if you don't have children, you have to pay that money. You have to give her, she says before, she said, the man that you support me and buy me all the, all the Chanel stuff and all that, it costs a lot of money. Sell the save a Torah to get married. The only two things you sell save a Torah for. Marriage, what else? Huh? Torah. Marriage and Torah. What? To build a mikvah, but we never learned that. that that's a new one. Rabbi Sai, have a wonderful evening. A good Shkoyach for coming, everybody, all the guests. Shkoyach.